Hello folks and welcome back. On this episode we're going to cover towing the uh, Casita travel trailer with a Jeep Wrangler JL. We bought the Jeep. We ordered it with the uh, towing package on it so it has the uh, receiver hitch and the 7 pin. We also ordered the trailer with the uh, Anderson anti-sway hitch which you can see it has the chain here one on each side that hooks to this plate at the front and that helps distribute the weight it also helps in anti-sway uh, you'll see here on the uh, ball when the uh, plate here turns the actual ball turns inside that aluminum housing there so the ball never turns up in the top of the hitch here and that's how they use it to reduce the anti-sway. There's a Teflon sleeve inside this uh, piece right here and that reduces the swaying of the trailer. I'm going to go ahead and measure here and let you know how far the trailer is off the ground with the uh, Anderson hitch and it's about 15 and a half inches with the uh, hitch hooked up and done properly. I'm going to disconnect it and show you what it looks like how far it squats down without the hitch. I'm going to show you here how to disconnect the Anderson hitch so that we can uh, demonstrate what it's like without it. What I'm going to do is raise it up here with the uh, front foot and it'll actually bring the back end of the Jeep up so that it relieves the tension on these chains right here. Once we get it up, we're going to take the uh, socket that actually came with the uh, hitch here, show it to you right here, and now the wrench I had to buy. And then you'll take that socket, you're going to loosen these chains. Uh, once you get them uh, initially loose, you can turn them by hand. And I just loosen them up till all the threads are inside the nut and nothing's showing. And we're going to go around and do it on the other side. Once the chains are loose, we're going to come right back up here to the plate. We're going to pull the safety pin. And then we're going to knock the actual pin that holds the bottom plate on. And you just kind of wiggle it a little bit and it'll come right off. And we're just going to leave it sitting here. And at this point, I'm not going to disconnect anything else because I just want to demonstrate to you how low the trailer sits when it um, doesn't have the Anderson hooked up. Now the trailer's lowered down. Let's go ahead and measure this and I'll show you the difference. You can see we come off of the uh, stand there and it's actually just a Jeep holding the weight. And now we're measuring 14 inches. So we lost about an inch and a half. Uh, that this thing squats down without the Anderson hitch, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you look at the center here, that's a lot of difference. So we're going to go ahead and put our foot back. We're going to raise it back up and hook our hitch back up. When I raise this up, I'm looking for two things. One, to lift the receiver in the, in the uh, Jeep, and then two, I'm looking for the ball to actually raise up, or the hitch to raise up on the ball here and lift up the back of the Jeep. Once I've got that done, then we'll go ahead and hook the plate back up. It just slides on just like we took it off. Take our pin, put it through. Once we get our pin through, we're going to turn around and put our safety uh, pin on the other side. And then once that's in there, we're going to tighten up the uh, chains, one on each side. And like I said, we're going to tighten them up till there's about five threads showing and then that's how you know that you've got the chain tight enough. Now that we've got the chains tight, let's go ahead and uh, lower the uh, trailer back down, take the foot out, and then we'll put a tape measure on it, and uh, we'll see where we're at now. And it's normally between 15 and a half and 16 inches, so uh, we'll look at that when we get finished here. And we're at about 16 inches here. And that's my setup for towing the uh, Casita with the uh, Jeep Wrangler, and it's worked great. One thing I didn't mention earlier is always make sure you put a lock 
on your uh, hitch here when you're traveling. That just keeps that thing from popping up and uh, coming loose. You can see here with the uh, Anderson hooked up, the Jeep's not squatting at all. It's level all the way across, and that's what you want. Now let me show you what we've got on the inside. Like I said, we bought this with a towing package. The only thing I had to do was bribe this uh, brake controller right here, and it actually plugs into uh, the Jeep. Let me see if I can show you the connector up here. It's that gray connector. That's pre-wired in the Jeep, so all I had to do was buy the connector and plug it in there, and the trailer brakes worked after that point with no problem. All right, well, let's go take a ride, and I've got the backup camera turned on, and we're going to actually drive. And what I'm trying to show you here is as you watch the hitch behind me, as I turn, you'll see that plate actually turns with the trailer, which is turning the ball, and that's what I was telling you about the anti-sway. And it's pretty obvious when you start turning here. You can see how it's, it's following the trailer and not the Jeep, which that means that the ball is actually not turning in the trailer. And um, that does two things for you. It basically reduces wear and tear on the trailer hitch, but it also reduces the sway. And you can see once you straighten up. Now the drawback to that is you've got to be straight when you back up to the trailer to hook it up. Otherwise, it's not going to line up. As far as actually towing, once we've got everything set up and we get on the roadway here, this is an example on the Interstate 75. Um, I tow, if it's 70 miles an hour, I usually run about anywhere from 65 to 68 miles per hour. I don't like getting over 68 anywhere towing a trailer. Um, I've got the automatic transmission, eight-speed transmission in the JL. I just put it in drive and let it go, uh, and it cycles through the gears that it needs to. Uh, towing the trailer, most of the time I'm either in 6th gear or 7th gear. And uh, if I'm going downhill, it'll go up to 8. And uh, if we're climbing hills, it'll go down as far as 4th gear. Uh, if we start doing a lot of shifting like that, uh, I will back off a little bit just to be a little easier on the transmission. Uh, never had any issues with it, uh, even with all the mileage that we've put on it. And then... Um, the Jeep's done great towing the trailer. All right, the last thing I want to cover here, it deals with towing of any trailer, and that's going to be the hitch maintenance here in the greasing. You see right here, you've got a little plate underneath there that uh, raises up, and that's what grabs hold of the bar, and it should move freely. And you can see mine's kind of stiff here because I need to grease it. So we're going to show you how to grease it and make it work. Now see how it's up in there, and that's going to actually latch onto the ball. So what you do is you get lithium grease, white lithium grease in a spray can, and you're going to spray the top up here, and you're going to spray the bottom. And you just, any of these joints that are in here, you're going to spray those, and that's what you're going to lubricate. And then underneath, I'm shaking the cans, the reason the film shaking. And uh, see how it sprays right there and puts a little grease in there? And then you're going to go underneath, and you're going to spray both sides underneath here. Let me shake the can a little bit more here. And then you're going to spray up underneath there on both sides. And I'll show you a picture in just a minute of what it looks like. See how it's got grease on both sides? And now see how easy it opens and closes? That's what you want. You want it to move freely. And it helps reduce the rust, helps keep it from rusting. And it also helps it work a lot better. As a side note, I also use this grease to lubricate the uh, stands on the back and uh, just squirt all the little joints with it and you'll be amazed at how easy these uh, jack stands actually work after that. Alright folks, well that concludes our uh, video here. I'm going to leave you with a shot of one of those great days where you're getting 20 miles to the gallon towing the trailer. This is uh, through uh, northern Texas on Interstate 40. But we, uh, we hope the video answers any question you've got about driving a, uh, or towing a Casita RV with a uh, Jeep Wrangler and, or with any vehicle with an Anderson Hitch. And uh, we really appreciate you watching. We appreciate your support. And uh, if you've got any questions, go ahead and text us and we'll try to answer the questions. Or email us, rather, and we'll try to answer the questions. With that being said, have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next video.